and welcome to beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today on the SEC ESPN Network, it's day two of the Purple and Gold Challenge. And Macario, left field, second base. First baseman Barbara, who had the home run last night. Up, a rise, a screw, and a change at 55 miles an hour. And you're right. 22 hits allowed. That's excellent. Taylor Pleasance charges it, fires it over to first base. And Espinosa, Chula Vista, California, is her home. Close to rain. Briggs is coming on, calls off Pleasance, and the center fielder makes the catch. We've seen her. She later struck out. Burzon fanned eight. In the 3 2 pitch. Misses low and away. Yeah, not close. She hadn't, she's not. Not really effective right state was receiving votes in the poll without getting into it. And we have a great looking crowd today. Swing and a miss. Decker reaching and flailing and can't find it. It's the first strikeout for the senior shortstop. That's second in the league. Raylene Gutierrez is at first base. Ali Newell. We're going to see it. our best pitch is a screw. Curve, change, drop. And in the high 200s not long ago, but she is on. Since this tournament started. She and chops this one over hit. the third baseman's head. It rolls into left field. And Danica Coffey, one of the best leadoff batters in the country. The one-two from Salora. That's trouble again. Chopped. The shortstop's got it. Fires and Briggs easily beats the throw from behind the circle. The play. Middle infielders for San Diego State making sure that's the big clue that the Tigers are not le leaving runners in scoring position. Another chop. There's only one play to first base. But it's and a Lala pop. McCarthy. Here's Gutierrez. First pitch swinging, lifts it to shallow left field. Not Let's deep check Coffey. Coffey bluffs the throw. Yep. And then had to go back. So now there are doubles, three homers, 18 driven in. That's second on the team. Jump on the ball. The 2 0 pitch is lined into left field. This is well hit and snagged by Espinosa on the run. She angles with all these bugs. So we got bugs. You got Scorpio. The 2-2 pitch lined down to Coffey, who reaches across third base. And I mean, 15. Screwball. And another pluck by Coffey. Coffey that time had to leave her. Nobody on base. Ground ball to Pleasant. She charges. She slings it over right to the belly of Gutierrez. Going to UCLA. <laughs> you got to try. Yeah, you do. Rudy. That's a one-hop chop right to the first baseman. Carson is retired, so two quick ground ball outs to. Only hitting 250, but transferred. Lynch lifts one to left field. There's room for Espinosa, and it's a one, two, three inning. That's six in a row. Chafin got a little giddy up on that ball. She does. Yeah. The 0 2, swing and a miss. That one had lift as it got to the plate. They had those. Be tough to hit if she can continue to. Here's the 1 2. Steve, right three called. Brocky thought it was off the plate wide. Those calls that went to replay last year in baseball runs off of the Aztecs pitching, but then closed it out quite effectively. And there's ball four. So a two out walk extends the inning. Kind of acting like where was that pitch? Yeah, no. You don't want to have Barbara come to the plate. Oh, that was a bit interesting. That was kind of a delayed steal. Maybe that comes her way. This is her seventh start. Reaching that pitch. The one, two. And he comes back inside. That's a great mix of pitches there. Really, you're right. Re we are scoreless in the bottom of the third. We are in the gloaming and back right away. And that's hit sharply, but snared by Barbara at first base. And Salora has done a replay in the middle day of the three day purple and gold. Briggs. Chops it to the right side. 
And a quick release by Macario over to Barbara and a 1-2-3 inning. That's not Newland coming on and makes a running catch as she motored into foul territory. Not much gets by Newland or Briggs or want to face this young lady with the bases empty. Takes a full swing. She, she hits it deep to right it. center field. Briggs gets under it, and Briggs makes the catch. She recognized that changeup, and she just. Garcia is with. It just slaps that right by Coffee. So Decker with the first base hit of the game for the Aztecs. It comes with two outs. Newland should have a play, and she squeezes it for out number three. Three fly ball outs, two to left field, one to center. Decker has not allowed a base runner since the hit sharply and smothered by Barbara at first base. And Pleasance is retired. Can't hit any better, but right at board. This one is ripped in between the outfielders. It will roll to the wall. Gutierrez stretches it out and will stop at second base with her fourth double of this. Rips it to right center field. This one is down on the warning track. Chilio strolls in from second base. Newland with her fifth double of the season drives in the game's first run. And that was a two strike pitch as well. Once again, the SEC player of the year oh, week. <laughs> the SEC play. 85. She grounded out to second base. Delora makes a fine play in the circle. That one would have gone into center field had she. It was a weak ground ball. Protocol. That's bounced down to Macario. She turns it into an out. But LSU got a double by Gutierrez driven in on the year. Missed tying away, and that's the third walk from Chapin. Yeah, and that was a rise ball that was. Pops it up, Coffee Ooh. collides. Ooh. That's not good. Collides with the catcher and Coffee Coffee's is hurt. down. That's not good. Her leg kind of. She's batting for the shortstop, Farron. Play on the last one. The 0-2 is dribbled up the middle. It is smothered behind the bag by Daniel, but she could not do anything with it. Yellen and Farron are the base runners. Oh. Her glove was closed. Yep, that was a bit awkward by Carson. As the ball hit. Ooh. Steve, yep. right three. What a pitch. What a pitch. If they're getting hurt, and if she's out of this lineup, that's a big ball. Popped up. Pleasance is calling for it. Pleasant squeezes it where the dirt meets the grass. And Chafin. Going to one of those big wheel monster truck I, I shows. Have not. Six to three on the put out. And the battle continues. Farron to Barbara. And Salora has done. Team, team a chance. Ooh, that ball ate her up. That took a wicked hop. It bounced off the chest of Macario. Yep, nothing she could do. Well, does she have some? She sends a ground ball to the right side. There's an out at second, no relay throw. Macario made a nice pivot to pitch it over to Farron. McKee has, and Briggs is called out on strikes as Salora continues to be really good in the circle. After an emotional happening with coffee. Sierra Briggs retreats to the middle of the Tiger Eye and out in the outfield. Oh. A drive deep to right, and that one is off the scoreboard for the second straight night. She got a pitch right the second time in as many games against LSU, and we've got a 1-1 one, one ball game. Mountain West. Right field. That was even a little higher off the scoreboard than the one last night. And on one switch is lifted into shallow left. Newland is calling off Pleasance, and there's the second out. Decker flies to left field. Twice she has hit the ball the other way. Newland drifts to her right. She's got it. 
Three fly ball outs, but one fly ball that nobody could catch off the bat of Mac. But she's given way to Allie Light. This is her 13th appearance. With a drop to the lefties. But that wasn't a drop, but it was a pop-up. Light through the first three innings yesterday. Oh, she Light pulled her glove back. She was probably the only one that could make that play. Gutierrez is two for three. Four. And that's ball four downstairs. And that one wasn't close. So Gutierrez looped toward center field. That's down on the grass for a base hit. The bases are loaded. Nobody could move more than 60 feet for Carson, who has grounded out twice. All left side coming home with it. There's the force there. Farron did not hesitate at shortstop. She got the ground ball and threw a strike to Garcia. Line there drive, you go. left field, base hit, one Tiger scores. Here comes another one. The slide at the plate, safe. It's Lynch who comes through for the LSU Tigers. And that's the best piece of hitting that we've seen from Kelly Lynch, and she has become a Tiger. And she comes through in a big clutch situation. Lynch drives in a pair. Lynch move up on the throw to the plate. Lynch came from Washington. She had 20 home runs and 96 RBIs in her career there. And this is her biggest one as a Tiger yet. This is driven out toward right center field and it's caught on the run by Angie Yellen. But it was Kelly Lynch who ripped run is catching. Ball four. That's clearly you, downstairs on a five pitch base on ball. You put that out there in the universe. So Yellen be able to pull Burke. Ball in the dirt and she's going. You're down by two runs. And she's thrown out. Pleasance plucked it out of the dirt and laid the situation. Gutierrez turns it into an out at first. And Burzon is one out away from the only one driven in. Up toward Daniel. Waits for the big hop to throw to first base. LSU is a winner. Drama late. The Tigers get it's got a little bit of late offense, and they win it three to one to go to 16 and 0 on the year. Tigers just find a way every three to one the final. For Event Gerard, I'm Lynn Rollins, reminding you that in about 30 minutes, we will have another LSU game, the Tigers against the Cowgirls from McNeese State. We'll be